Yeah. And would you do it again? Definitely. Hi and welcome to Biopharma. In this episode, we're joining Daniel Kutcher. Hi, my name is Daniel Kutcher. Who is a product specialist in the trace elemental analysis business within Thermo Fisher Scientific, as he tours India with the United States Pharmacopeia to talk about the detection and analysis of elemental impurities in pharmaceutical drug products. We were allowed to give a technical presentation on the two techniques allowed for elemental impurities analysis, ICP optical emission spectroscopy and ICP mass spectrometry. Um, we did that in four different cities all over India, covering the most important uh, hubs for the pharmaceutical industry in that place. Today we are in Chandigarh, it's almost 40 degrees Celsius, uh, suffering a lot, so I'm, but I'm looking forward uh, to the seminar tonight that we're going to have uh, here about elemental analysis using ICP technologies. So the labs in India, they are generally very aware of the requirements of the USP chapters uh, 232 and 233. Uh, they are all looking at how to prepare themselves even more. They are looking thoroughly into the different types of machinery that is available. They have a lot of questions regarding uh, software, first of all, so all the features regarding 221 CFR Part 11 compliance that are built inside the Kutego ISDS um, software. Yeah, and also a lot of questions about instrumentation. <laughs> Now we are in Hyderabad. So both ICP OAS and ICP MS are well suited for the analysis of elemental impurities according to the USP chapters 232 and 233. In ICP OAS we rather detect um, yeah, light emitted by atoms that have been excited in an inductively coupled plasma. And with ICP MS uh, we typically detect the ions that were uh, coming out of the ionization process that happens in an inductively coupled plasma. Generally, ICP-MS allows you to go to lower detection limits, so we typically speak about detection limits that are in the area of about yeah, a couple of PPTs in most sample matrices. Um, for ICP-OAS, uh, this is typically around one PPB. Now, both technologies are fully suitable for elemental impurities um, analysis according to the USP chapters. However, ICP-MS, due to its higher detection power, um, is the more future-proof uh, technique and it's also the technique that I would recommend for if people would like to apply the technology also, for example, in R&D purposes. Right now, welcome from Ahmedabad. We just had a spectacular seminar yesterday. Uh, today, another highlight, um, we went to uh, the Asian Pacific uh, Center of Excellence for Customer Care. It's also located in the city of Ahmedabad. Uh, really fantastic to go to the lab and see all the um, yeah, instruments they have there, a lot of HPLC equipment, also mass spectrometry equipment. Yeah, so now we are heading back uh, to Mumbai for the last uh, seminar which is going to take place tomorrow. See you there. So as you've seen and heard from Daniel, at Thermo Fisher Scientific, we're passionate about delivering robust and compliant solutions for the analysis of elemental impurities in pharmaceutical drug products. Make sure you visit thermofisher.com forward slash USP232 toolkit. See you again soon.